What's up, family? How we doing today? Hopefully everyone's trying to stay cool. Oh, God, it's hot today, man. Hot. 110 degrees with the heat index down here in South Florida. But I uh, wanted to talk about South Carolina's dynamic duo at linebacker. Uh, but before we get into the video uh, or have this discussion, please hit that like button, subscribe button. We're at... 950 subscribers 50 away from making it to the 1000 mark uh, which gets you fully monetized on YouTube and you can become an ad guy right they'll run ads for you and you get paid how about that finally maybe I can start getting paid by YouTube but anyway appreciate everybody that always subscribes wanted to talk about uh, Demetrius Knight and of course Debo Williams South Carolina's leading tackler from last year, Debo Williams, had 113 tackles. Uh, was the leading uh, defender for South Carolina last year. Kind of the motivator, the driver. He, he he doesn't take a play off. He doesn't take a day off. He doesn't take off anything. Um, he's a motivator. He's motivated. Uh, he's done nothing but improve himself since transferring to South Carolina from Delaware. And then we bring in uh, Demetrius Knight Jr., transfer out of Charlotte, originally was with Georgia Tech. Uh, another almost 100 tackle guy from last year. The depth of South Carolina linebackers, I, I don't know if this is just positive thinking, or this seems to be the deepest linebacker room I think South Carolina's had in a while. And uh, those two guys are seem to be the guys that are leading the way, right? They're the guys that are talked about the most. Uh, the dynamic duo is what I'm going to call them in this video of Debo and D. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I, I've felt good about South Carolina's linebacker core in the past. And, of course, Mo Caba coming back off an of injury. Mo has been one of the guys we really pull for. Uh, Bad Mark Scott really showed a lot of flashes last year. A very athletic kid. Um, you know, some freshmen, uh, Fred J.R. Johnson, Wendell Gregory, uh, two more kids that uh, just going to build some depth in this linebacker room. And it's, it's kind of been a struggle position for South Carolina for quite some time. I mean, we'd get one linebacker, the other linebacker kind of uh, was okay, maybe a little slower, maybe. It just never seemed we could put two really physical great linebackers on the field at the same time some guys with some speed and some go get them and uh, great tackling ability um seems to be that's going to be the case this year for south carolina now if our front four whoever that may be we'll do a video on the front four coming up soon uh who we think are going to be the starters for uh game one um if they can eat up some blocks and let these two linebackers or really this whole linebacker core just kind of feed on getting to the ball carrier um, and do what linebackers are supposed to do, right? Stop the run, uh, help in some pass. Uh, you know, you, sometimes linebackers get stuck on these tight ends, and a lot of these tight ends these days are very athletic guys. So you got to have athletic linebackers to be able to run with them, uh, kind of be that guy in the middle that uh, stops up everything. And makes the tackles gets in the backfield sometimes because they they split through the offense and make those tackles for a loss i i just i really feel good about this linebacker core i feel good about our dynamic duo who more than likely is going to be the starters um and and they're getting recognized nationally for both for two linebackers in south carolina to both be on the buckus award nominee list kind of makes you feel good as a Gamecock fan just because we've seen that position be a struggle for our team uh, for quite some time now so I'm optimistic about those guys uh, I just I don't know this defense I think it's gonna have to have to tote the team for a little while until Lenore's kind of gets the game slows down for him uh, I think the running game is gonna have to be great for Lenore's uh, to help a young quarterback out but yeah really excited about the linebacker core this year and uh, we'll talk about some more players as uh, it gets closer to the season. But just want to say appreciate everybody. Please stay cool today. Hydrate if you have to work outside because I don't want to see any of my family uh, go down.
uh, football season just getting here. We don't want to see y'all go down. But like I said, please like, subscribe. Hope everyone has a wonderful and cool rest of their day. Peace.